Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Martin. I'm filming this in my storage unit today. And what I'm filming today is a little something special. It's a uh, cover challenge response video. So every Friday, um, uh, Comic Collector Geek uh, puts out a, a challenge. Last week it was 1970s covers. This week it's 1960s covers. And he did his top 10 um Top 10 covers and they were huge uh, but he's tagged me in uh ooh, just hit my elbow he's tagged me in to show off my top 10 uh, but uh with my responses i never do 10 in this instance i'm doing 36 36 books and what i do on this channel is i usually show off four books and i end on a key issue this video is 36 books and i end on a big key so I'll just, uh, let's have a look. Where am I? Because I'm all mixed up. There we go. Okay. So I'll start off <clears throat> with uh, with this one here. So it is a House of Mystery 160. It's from the 60s. So House of Mystery uh, issue 160. It's the uh, first Silver Age appearance. Let's see. It's, it says first Silver Age appearance of Plastic Man. Uh, but it also introduces, um, uh, what's it like? Uh, sorry, uh, his name's Marco Xavier. So Marco Xavier is a uh, pseudonym for Martian Manhunter, uh, and he's a he's kind of like the Matches Malone uh, of Batman, but for Martian Manhunter, it's uh, uh, it's Marco Xavier. So that's uh, pretty cool. But yeah, that's the first book, and that's the only one I have in the slab. So I'll start off with the Raws, and we have uh, Brave and the Bold uh, issue seventy. You know, I've got the ring light right here in my face. So <laughs> if it's a bit glary, uh, I apologize. But yeah, this one's a bit banged up. Uh, I got this from Honolulu uh, and I brought it all the way home. So the next one is Flash, uh, issue 135. Uh, now, this is the first time that Wally wears... Wally wears? <laughs> that Wally wears the uh, this, this outfit. Um, yeah, pretty cool. The next one is The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, issue 1. The next is Witching Hour, issue one. Uh, now, I am yet to read this, but I'm really looking forward to it. It looks fantastic. Now, this one I recently showed uh, in, a, uh, in a recent video. It's uh, Flash uh, 112, uh, the first appearance of Elongated Man. We have issue five of uh, Aquaman. Why do I have to think about that? <laughs> issue five of Aquaman. We have... Issue 189 of Batman. It's the reintroduction of Scarecrow. We have Hawk and Dove, issue one. Now this ran for six issues. I don't have every issue, uh, but I would uh, like to get them because I'm a, I'm a Hawk and Dove fan. We have the first appearance of Hawk and Dove in Showcase, Showcase 75. We have issue 200 of Superman. Um, now, my brother bought this at a convention years ago for $4. <laughs> uh, and you know what, to be honest, it hasn't even been read because it's still got the, the sticky on it. We, we never opened it up and read it, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it should be read and enjoyed. We have Batman Annual 3, um, which I have read. Uh, I read it purely for the Two-Face story. I wanted to see what, uh, which version of Two-Face that was. And uh, yeah, that was a good read. A bit wordy, but um, yeah, lots of fun. So we have issue nine of She's Josie. Uh, this is before the, um, the series became known as Josie and the Pussycats. And I bought this uh, for a very good price. Uh, <clears throat> the lady sold it to me because there's a big chunk taken out of the bottom. So I was able to negotiate a good price. And it is pretty banged up. Um, but it is a very old Josie comic book, so I was very happy to get that. We have Showcase Presents Issue 31 uh, with Aquaman and Aqualad. Just this iconic cover. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. Just, it, 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 it screams fun to me. Now, <clears throat> something a little bit different. Uh, issue 19 of the X-Men, which is the first appearance of the Mimic. Um, yeah, uh, again, I bought this, actually I bought this, uh, online from 
um, SoCal Comics uh, in uh, Southern California. Um, and yeah, got it via their website and uh, yeah, very happy with it. Now, <laughs> uh, yeah, so <laughs> we have issue three of Captain Action, uh, where they're fighting Dr. Evil. And uh, I showed my wife this before I came down to the storage unit. Uh, and I started singing the Dr. Evil theme song. And she looked at me as if I was from another world. <laughs> so does anyone know the Dr. Evil theme song from the Austin Powers movies? Um, because <laughs> I'm a fan of They Might Be Giants. And uh, yeah, they did the theme for Dr. Evil. And I'll, I, I won't sing the song to you. <laughs> Although it is in my head. Okay. The next issue we have is issue 60, uh, 76 of uh, Showcase Presents, and this is the first appearance of Batlash. Now, <clears throat> I took a chance on this, uh, and I'm so glad I did, because this was perfect. This was right up my alley. I loved this issue. It's Western. It's fun. It's got a European feel. Oh, yeah. I loved this issue. <clears throat> Just as my voice cracks. I love this issue. <laughs> Okay, we have issue nine of the Munsters, um, and someone has taken a borrow to this uh, cover, but not to the back. So that's the back cover. Um, pretty good, looking good. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a fair bit to go through. I'm only on the first pile. So the next one is issue 30 of Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, and... Uh, yeah, this is uh, the first appearance of, uh, now I forget her name. Put down in the comments down below, what's the name of this character? Because it's just escaped me. Uh, sorry. Yeah, drawing a blank with that one. Okay. <clears throat> Incredible Hulk, issue 205. This is uh, the oldest Incredible Hulk issue I own. Uh, and yeah, boy, oh boy, what a great read. Uh, no, I'll, I'll paraphrase that. Uh, this is the oldest uh, Incredible Hulk issue. I, I have older issues. I think one of them is actually in here. Um, but yeah, of the of the Incredible Hulk series, this is the oldest one I have. And it's a beautiful cover. But we still have all these to go. So please bear with me because they get bigger. We have Ghost Rider issue 7. So this is the Western version with Carter Slade. And this is the last issue. Next up is a big one, and oh boy, when I got this, boy, oh boy. Okay, so, where is it? A sec. Sorry. It is uh, Fantastic Four issue 13. It's the first appearance of the Watcher and the Red Ghost, and he's super apes. But yeah, the first appearance of the Watcher. Oh, I read this with kid gloves because, yeah, I could not believe I owned it. Uh, now, it is banged up. Um, it's got a bit of a... Um, a uh, bit of uh, oil, like discoloration here. Uh, so because of that, I was able to get it for a good price. But yeah, very happy. So next up, we have issue 10 of the X-Men. It's the uh, reintroduction of Gazar and Zabu. And uh, yeah, um, just fantastic fun. Now the next one is Thunder Agents issue one. Now I got this for like, 35 bucks Australian at a convention. Um, I'd heard about uh, Thunder Agents, and I may have uh, read a few issues here and there, but when I read this, I fell in love with the concept. Just just so much fun, and Wally Wood at his best. So um, let me just have a bit of a look. I'll just rearrange these a little bit because they're all Superman books, uh, and I'm going to put them in order of um, importance. We have uh, Superboy, issue 98, the first appearance of Ultra Ultra Lad. Is it Ultra Lad? Yeah, I think it is Ultra Lad. Uh, now, <clears throat> um, out of all the Legion characters, uh, his powers were the most interesting to me, uh, in that he had three powers, but he can only use one at a time. I thought that was such a fun idea. But yeah, that's his first appearance. And then we have... Action Comics 340, the first appearance of the Parasite. Now, I bought these from my comic shop for for a steal. I could not believe just how good of a price I got this for. And uh, yeah, very happy to get uh, the first appearance of the Parasite. Now this one, oh boy. Adventure Comics 283, the 
first appearance of General Zod. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I got this from my comic shop. And uh, <clears throat> I remember it was in in the summer. It was stinking hot the day it arrived. And it arrived at a house down the road from here, which has a similar street name. And uh, it was delivered to that, that, that the, the same number as here. But yeah, the, 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 uh, another street. And the guy who lived there was nice enough to track me down and uh, drop the parcel off. And I think he was just interested to see what was in the packaging because he thought it was comic books because uh, I had the My Comic Shop sticker on there. Um, but yeah, I, I, it almost went missing. And I'm very happy to get this. Um, General Zod looks nothing like he does in the movies or as he looks like now in the comic books. He's actually got a big, thick mustache. <laughs> Which, uh, in the 60s, I assume a big, thick mustache meant that you were evil. <laughs> okay. Tales to Astonish, issue 20. Just a beautiful monster cover. And uh, it's uh, X, the thing that lived. Look at that. Now, got a few more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight books to go. And they're getting bigger. Tales to Astonish. Issue 62, it's the first appearance of the leader. Yeah, that's right. It is the leader. First appearance of the leader. Because uh, he's right at the very end and he's like this tiny little figure. Um, but yeah, first appearance of the leader. And we love the leader. <laughs> Avengers, issue 9, the first appearance of Wonder Man. Now, I bought this um, probably about a year and a half ago. And it's in Mylar, so it's a bit shiny on the cover. Uh, but yeah, it was a it was a great read. Um, lots of fun, lots of fun. Now <clears throat> we have issue fifteen of the Amazing Spider-Man: The First Appearance of Kraven the Hunter. Now this is actually my brother's copy, and so I'm just uh, I'm safeguarding it. <laughs> uh, it's it's in the collection here, and uh, yeah, uh, man, uh, if you're looking for this comic, I have it, uh, and I'm taking good care of it. <laughs> Wow, good enough. Okay, so this is, have a look, so this is Flash, issue 139. It's the first appearance of the reverse Flash. Uh, and I got it for a good price because, as you can see, a big chunk has been taken out of the cover. Uh, but you know what? I do not care. Um, <laughs> I love it. Now, I showed this in a recent video, but I'll show it again. It's Batman 171. The reintroduction of the Riddler. Uh, so if you want to go back and see a, a, a previous video, um, I think it's like three or four videos back. Um, yeah, first appearance, uh, first uh, re reintroduction of the Riddler. Okay. Amazing Spider-Man issue 37. The first appearance of Norman Osborn. Uh, shocking cover. Uh, I actually think this is actually also the first appearance of Robot Master. But the first appearance of Norman Osborn. Now, two big issues to go. And I'll show you this one and I'll show the, big, the next one and then you can decide which is the bigger one. We have Laugh, issue 166 with the Beatles on the cover. So for the 60s, you cannot get bigger than the Beatles. And I'm very happy to own this issue. Um, I got it for a good price. I had to negotiate to get a, a lower deal. Um, but yeah, very happy to get this because... In Melbourne, uh, this comic is rare as, well, hen's teeth. I was going to say uh, something else. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's extremely rare to get this uh, in the raw. But the big key issue, Justice League of America issue one. And this is my top issue for the 60s. This is a coverless copy. So how I was able to get it. Because if it had the cover, I don't think I'd be able to afford it. But <clears throat> what is more 60s? The Justice League of America or the Beatles? You tell me, guys. Put down in the comments down below what you think. Uh, now, I'm going to tag uh, Why Not Comics into this video. Why Not Comics uh, has a great channel, which uh, he and his wife uh, film, and he's got some really good books. Uh, his videos, I always find them very entertaining. Um, <clears throat> so why not? Um, why not do this challenge? <laughs> now, uh, Alan, I want to thank you for uh, for this challenge. It was a lot of fun going through my uh, 
my collection. I've got a whole lot up here which I didn't take down, otherwise it would have been 50 issues uh, from the 60s, or even 60 issues from the from the 60s. And while I was going through there, I found a whole bunch of 50s books. So if you want to do a 50s challenge, I've got it right here ready to go. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed the comics that I showed off. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Ring the bell, put down in the comments down below. Uh, tell me what you think. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you like the books, but did you hate me? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> and hopefully I handled them nicely. Uh, <laughs> thanks again, guys. All the best, and I'll catch you in the next one.